Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a loony lecture on bow tendons in the equine. When the equine basically ends up with injury to the digital superficial ends and deep digital uh, flexor tendons of the forelegs, essentially, and the, and the rear legs, we end up with the actual um, uh, connective tissue breaking down, scarring, and actually bowing the tendon. It's called bowed because they bow out, essentially, but they may be swollen all down the length of the actual tendon itself. This compromises range of motion and also compromises gait, and it's also painful. Any time there's pain involved with inflammation and the reorganization of connective tissue into scar tissue, we end up with that ascending into the spinal cord, essentially, either here or back here at L uh, T. I'm sorry, at C6-7, essentially, or L3-4 in the back legs, essentially, and we end up with that phenomenon of vertebral subluxation complex compromising the normal and rapid growth or rehabilitation of this particular tissue now. The way that we treat it, of course, is since there is, in fact, neurological interference associated with this condition, whether it's occurring and then produces the vertebral subluxation or the subluxation actually produces this condition or predisposes this condition to occur, we still adjust it. So we would adjust the wings of the atlas, we'd come down, we'd adjust the lateral processes of the spinal cord, and then we come in and we do the rest of the, of the horse. We always adjust these animals because unless we do, no matter what we do, medications which can be beneficial and also wrapping etc can be beneficial or only temporary fixes. Remember that the neurological interference that occurs from pain or because of other conditions holds these problems in place and these problems may be secondary problems to the primary injury that caused the vertebral subluxation complex. Again, this is the most important aspect of, of adjusting these animals because we can get a temporary fix, better, worse, better, worse, better, worse, but once we adjust these animals effectively we're able to get our, our therapies that take care of the distal tissues essentially to not only solve the problem but also keep the problem solved. So what we do is we go ahead and adjust these animals. There's a couple other things that we do for bow tendons too. We can actually use another technology called veterinary myofascial release and percussive therapy. In this case, we'll use this particular device as a percussor. And what it does is it provides a very rapid pulse that we'll put on the actual tissue. We'll put it on the bow tendon. I don't have a horse here to show you, but nonetheless, what we do is we'll put it right on the tendon at a high speed for about three minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll turn it down and put it on a low speed for another three minutes. And the scary thing about that is that the, if we measure the actual bow tendon before we do it and then after we do it, very commonly it'll be significantly different, like about one half its size before we started using this, which would indicate that this device actually is reorganizing uh, these tissues essentially. And this is done, um, this actually information was created and found and discovered and promoted by a guy named Fulford, F-O-L-F-O-R-D, Fulford, you can Google it. What he found is that in the connective tissue that we see when we autopsy these horses, we see essentially fibrous connective tissue or a scar that looks like this. Scar tissue is collagen basically laid down in an idiosyncratic or, uh, way like this. There's no, there's no motion along that. And so it's going to produce a large bowed tendon and the tendon becomes quite large because it's like scar tissue. However, in the live animal, essentially, there's continual stress on that particular ligament. And because there's stress on the ligament and because the tissue is alive, Okay, that we have actually uh, neurological activity and electromagnetic energy actually moving down that actual uh, li ligament. So when we use this device, essentially at a high rate, we put all those live collagen fibers, which are semiconductors, into solution. And then what, after that, what we do is we do it at a low frequency and it aligns them along those, those powerful uh, 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 areas, uh, along the stress lines, essentially, and that's why it reduces. We can also utilize a technology involving uh, 9, 16, 42, 53, and we can actually laze these particular tissues and get pain relief and also rehabilitation and reorganization of those collagen fibers using this particular um, method too. The magic number here is 20.5, which actually reorganizes the collagen fiber. This uh, technique for treating a bow tendon, the front legs and also the rear legs of the horse actually has been very, very successful for us. And for other practitioners who have used that, I would recommend you consider going to the vomtech.com website and looking at that particular site in such a fashion that you can determine how it is we adjust them and also other aspects of myofascial release and percussive therapy, essentially. This has been Dr. Inman, William Inman, that's me. Please seek the vomtech.com website out for more information where we'll show you how to do this technique for free and why it works for free, 
essentially and if you can get through those first three uh, introductory videos we'll show you how you can actually download the whole of module one which costs three hundred seventy five dollars we can basically show you how to download all of that data for free thank you very much and have a great day